guys welcome back to yet another interesting tech news update now the poco f2 pro must have been the poco f2 at first place but they released poco f2 and bought themselves few sales and now they add pro to it and make it actually the successor to the poco f1 yes so it's also a rebranding of the redmi k30 pro which won't be sold out here in india instead they bought the poco f2 pro but anyways now the real poco that we all have been waiting for is launching soon uh, with already teasers suggesting most affordable as well as most powerful chipset which means snapdragon 865 so this should have been launched way earlier but again now that it is so let's wait and see and it also features true full screen meaning a pop-up selfie camera is there bigger battery and of course fast charging and it could be priced around 29,000 Indian rupees. So slightly expensive over here because if you look at the Poco F1, I think it was launched in August 8th uh, or 18th uh, back in 2018, I guess. So it's been quite a while since the launch of the Poco F1. Still, it's a strong contender though, Poco F1. And now they are bringing the Poco F2 Pro for like 29,000 Indian rupees. Of course, slightly expensive, I feel, but still considering the things that you get with the Poco F2 Pro, like it was released in the Poco F1 and made a lot of sales. So I think the same would continue here, albeit a bit costlier, right? So let's wait and see how this is going to actually make sales and uh, is it worth investing so much for that phone? Moving on, Google Pixel 4a will be launched on May 22. Several leaks uh, show that it could cost around like 28,000 Indian rupees. It's a mid-range phone, features a Snapdragon 730 chipset, which we have seen in several budget-oriented phones. Nothing special over here. A lot of manufacturers produce only above six inches phone. And now this one, Google Pixel 4a will have 5.81 inches OLED screen, full HD plus resolution, uh, which is good, but with thick bezels all over and add to that a hole punch camera in the display on top left, um, I think it doesn't look like a premium thing at all. It's a mid-range phone, but still if you look at other phones comparatively, uh, they look very beautiful. A lot of things uh, will be going on in those phones, but still here, if you look at it, it just feels like a toy. So what do you guys think of its form factor, a thick bezel all over? Do you love it or hate it? A poll you can uh, click somewhere over here and vote if you will. So it gets a 3080 mAh battery with 18 watts charging, again nothing special or new here, a 12 megapixel camera, single camera, no dual setup, no depth sensor, nothing as such uh, with optical image stabilization and 8 megapixel selfie camera, yes one for the front and one for the rear, that's it. So let's see how it performs when it is launched actually and it looks like a decent uh, no nonsense mid ranger. So, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. So, guys, moving on, this one is interesting. Like, if you own a Canon camera, like if you have a Canon camera, you can turn that into a webcam with a single USB cable and use it for video conferencing and such. Yes, Canon recently launched a new EOS webcam utility software for the Windows 10 64 bit operating system, which is still in beta and supports both interchangeable lens camera as well as power shot cameras from the Canon. Uh, so visit uh, Canon's website page in the software and download section, you will see the uh, webcam utility beta. So just click on it, download and install it on PC, turn on the camera, change it to the movie mode, connect the USB cable to the PC, launch the software and boom, there you go, your webcam is ready. So I think it's a nice and useful thing for many to take use of this pandemic situation and especially when the webcams have become more expensive than before in this situation. So that's why I think Canon released that and that's a good move. So guys, just some quick tech news, uh, which I found to be interesting and shared with you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you like news such as this. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.